G'day, I'm Steve. Hey, welcome to Woodworking Masterclass and continue on from yesterday's stream. I uh, had a bit of a hiccup at the end of the stream. I'll tell you, I'll show you how I fix that. But I'm now mounting the embroidery, which is this, onto um, a backing board. Then I'm going to put it inside the, or on the back of the border. And then I'm going to put it into the frame with the glass and measure how much I have to come up. Now, at the end of last stream, I don't know if you remember, but I was going to build the outside of the frame up with a Scotia moulding. As soon as I finished the stream, I was walking up to the house and I thought, you know, I don't have to do that. I can do it at the back and keep the front. So we'll hopefully get that done too. Um, all I did here was on the back just stapled uh, the embroidery onto the back and then the staples came through so I ground them off with a soft grinder and now I'm just cutting the last edge down here so the border will fit nicely on that once I've got that centralize it onto the border and then I'll staple that onto there and then we'll see what happens. So there you go. Gregory, hello again. Mate, it's a habit. Please to have you back in the shop. Louise, just to play. Oh, well, don't let me stop you, Louise. Go and do some work. Was that with the plane that you fixed up with your dad's a German one? Henry Scroll saw works. Hey, Henry, I got, I got questions about scroll saws. I've just started using the scroll saw uh, in earnest because I'm doing double bevel marquetry. And I have some questions. I, it's something I've had for years and never really, dare I say, taken it seriously as a woodworking tool. Um, but I've changed my mind on it now. And my hat's off to you, sir. It takes a lot of skill to be good at a scroll saw. I've worked that out. And as yet, I don't have it. Brenda, g'day, you got me early in the stream. Wonderful, lovely to have you along. John, hi, love this picture. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm gonna do it again. There you go. Um, we've worked out this between 40, for this, it depends. There's, there's around a million stitches. Actually, I would have loved to show you the back of it. I said, so I just put this in the ironing press to flatten it out. And when you look at the back, you do not realise, looking at the front, just how much stitching has gone into it. But I'm not taking it off the board to show you. So you have to take my word for it. Um, yeah, because, I mean, her, her kimono, that is just gorgeous. And if you look at it closely, you, you see all the embellishment here. Well, really, that is just a purple piece of fabric that Sue's laid in, and then all this other work is all stitches and cross stitches and fancy stitches and, no, very, very good. Uh... Oh, Lawrence, there you go. All right. You change your title. All right. Well, still goes. I'll take my hat off to you. Scroll saws. Are, oh, I've got I've got ants all over me. What's happened? I've, I've, those of you know, I um, I don't know if you call it breed, but I keep native beehives, and I've just noticed one of my beehives was very, very, very uh, slow and didn't have many bees in it. And uh, I just saw an idea online and I thought, oh, I'll try that. And what I've done, I've taken a really healthy hive and swapped the position of that hive with the hive that wasn't doing so good and the hive that wasn't doing so good, I've put where the thriving hive was. Now, the theory is the worker bees from the healthy hive will leave wherever they are, but they will return not to where they took off from, but to where they're hive was originally. And I've got to tell you, I was out there, ants, there was an ant's nest on the top of the hive, there's big black ones. Um, 
And it's amazing. I, I reckon there would have to have been at least a thousand bees hanging around the entrance of this new hive, all with their little socks full of pollen, and they've all gone in. They'll notice uh, it's not the same hive. They don't have Netflix, the lounge is gone, the TV's gone, there's no swimming pool, and they've got to start working again. But everyone's been going in and staying, and I took the top off. I know this isn't woodwork, but I thought I'd tell you, because I had an ant on me. Um, I took the top off, and all these new bees, with all their pollen and everything, are... Um, working on the, the structure and the brood, so I'm, I'm hoping that's going to turn it around. All right, so now I've just marked this. I've just got to cut this edge off here, which I shall do using a jigsaw. And then we will continue. Is that working well? Yep. I don't know if you can, if you can watch that. There we go. Hoping. Here's hoping. I'm just going to clean that up with a bit of sandpaper. Uh, this is um, just MDF or melamine with a white coat on it. And I thought that would be better than having melamine on melamine. I was going to get plywood, but at $35 for a sheet, I didn't think it was worth it. And um, as I stapled this, I stretched it as well so it's nice and taut. So, let me get the border and we will see oh, how it's going. Mm. Okay, here we go. Now, if I've done a good job, there won't be any stitches showing, which is pretty, pretty happy with that. That's a little bit under there. I've got, got another hand on me. Come on. Get off there. There you go. Okay, that's looking all right. So what I'm going to do now is see if it all looks okay, which it seems to. All right, and hopefully the, the frame that I just did is a fraction small. If not, I'll just clean up the block plane. That's pretty good. Now, what I want to do, <laughs> that's the second time I've done that today. Disconnected something from the airline and left the airline. Okay. So what I want to do is um, staple this hang on. Where's the where's the where's the what's it? Staple um this frame, I'm just, Susan, I've found loose threads. I want to staple this onto the back of this. 
and that doesn't come through, which is a good thing. <laughs> I'm pleased it doesn't come through. I had my hand over that one. All right, now that's stapled onto that. I'm just gonna turn this over and put a heap of staples in it to make sure it doesn't move. didn't want to play the game. All right. Now that being the case, this should oh, look pretty all right there. I'm going to bring the frame over. Put it somewhere so I don't get dust all over it. They took kindly to being moved. Oh, oh, there's definitely a cup of coffee in this. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me put coffee on. Oh, I'm going to celebrate when it's done. Oh. All right, here's the glass. Which the uh, glass people, if you're local, Jim Boomba Glass, happy to recommend them. I was originally going for three mil, and the last said, no, you're much better off with four mil. And she's absolutely right. I much prefer the heavier glass. All right. Now that's meant to sit there like that. I'm going to pick it up. We'll see what it looks like. I've got no idea what that looks like because I can't see it. It's heavy. So what I have to do now is measure the distance from here to the backboard. Then I'm going to make another frame up out of um, plywood, rebate it and then screw that onto the back. Now, if you remember, as I said before, I was going to build the front, but this is going to be a much nicer way of doing it. This is um, just a, a saw micrometer that I use, so I know 
when the saw is at the right height. So I'm just going to do this. That looks to be four. I'll come down a bit more on that. Yes. Okay, that's six mil. That's seven mil. I reckon six mil would do that quite nicely. Let me just set that up. Where's my other glasses? Oh. That'd be right. There. I'm pretty sure that. That's six mil, which is a quarter of an inch. That's quite nice there. Nice there. Ooh. Yeah, I reckon that'll do. So now I've got a bit of, I don't know, plywood or something or other, find something in it. And then I'm coming out about that far and going into about So let's measure that. Oh, you go, 70 mil. No. So that's a there. Get it there. 50 mil, okay. So I'll cut that at 50. And that should be all right. And what I'll do then is cut six mil deep into it. And then I can put it over the top and we'll fit into the rebate. And then I'll screw down on the outside. And that will be good. So I'm just going to take all this out now and put it to one side. And of course, as you're wondering, this plastic is just so I don't cut myself. Very thoughtful. It's the only glazier I've ever been to that does that. I remember big sheet of glass and I carried it really really carefully then I put my foot out to catch it and let it slide very bad cut both my hands I'd like to say I hadn't done it since but I have but that's very thoughtful having that plastic wrap around it it was great Within a minute, I'm just trying to put this all down safely so I don't put it fall on it. Gee whiz, I tell you what, that looks good under glass, doesn't it? Got to be happy with that. We'll all have a chat. Here's my milk. Excuse, I will have a coffee. I need one. <laughs> that was very stressful. Ah. Oh. All right. That's very nice too. 
Oh. Oh. All right. What's happening in the chat room? Sorry I've been ignoring you, but there you go. Oh. Now, where are we up? I think we're way, way back. We're way back there. Vinny, did I say good day to you, Vince? No. Good day, Roy. Lovely in the shop. I hope you're feeling good. God bless you. Please hit the thumbs up. Oh, thanks, John. I appreciate that. Delta, Papa Tango. Whiskey, Tango. Fox. No, yeah, that's it. <laughs> How you going, mate? I'm no chat. Oh, dear. Yeah, no, John, it's a crap internet provider I've got. Um, I've got on my screen that I, I get to see. I don't know if I can get in that far. Where are we? Boom, ba -dum, boom. There you go. Look at that. It says, excellent connection. Well, it's rubbish. But I can only do what I can do with what they give me. So there we go. I agree with your post this morning, John. I've been saying that for ages. You go, I guess you know the one I mean. <clears throat> uh, -dum -bum. I don't know if it, does it improve over time, Vince, or is it I guess over time? I don't know. All right, yesterday, these bow ties in here. So I'm going to plane those off now, but I'm, I'm still talking. Oh, I'm going to get over here. Oh. Thanks, Jamie. I shall pass it on to Susie. <laughs> Morning, Andy. How's the unpacking going? Miguel, thank you. Uh, did I? No, in this particular case, um, Lawrence, I used a, a Dado saw because I put the rebate in before. Do it. Here you go. Put this rebate in before I built the frame. Yeah, that way. There's no problem with the router. You can go in and do that, and then you've just got to check the corner out with a chisel to get it nice and square. But in this case, I used a Dado on that. Hmm. When am I burning the It's very possibly going to be very soon, Vince. I'm going to knock these down. Um, and then I might get into it. Oh, dear. And we might, might even see if we can get a lot of that. Be something a little bit different of interest. Here we go. And there I am too. All right, so I'm just... So it's flush with the... the water. I think how that might help. Stop it wobbling about. Might help, might not help. I don't know. Well... Have a go.
to and might do it all on. Oh, do them all on this corner maybe. If we can. Do you reckon I can do it without losing my coffee? What I'm, what I'm doing there, I'll back it back so you can see. I'm just using the um, hold down. Just to hold that. And I'll put that there. And there we go again. These are big um, bow ties that I've got. The reason they are so big is, as I explained yesterday, I didn't have any clamps that I could really use on this frame. It was too big. So it's the string clamp and put weights on it on the floor and it held together pretty good, but there were glue lines, here's one in, in, case, in point, that wasn't brilliant. So, hence, no tie. Or butterfly, I call it. Tell you what, it's nice using hand tools. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to quickly hit that with a bit of 20 on here. That'll do. Looking okay. They're done. So now I'll go get some. I don't know if I've got. Oh, I might even be able to use this. What did I say? I wanted 50 mil. I can get that out of that. Let me see what I've got over here. 
That's a bit below 50. Hey, we might just go 42, so it'll give me one. 41, 20, I don't know. I can still only get two out of that. Mm, let me see. Oh, what a buddy. No. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. <sighs> oh, some of that, that might. That could get us out of trouble. Mm, no, not long enough. Let me see. A bit of Oregon might do. <laughs> what thickness this is. That's one sixty. That one, we'll do it at 40 mil, um, or just under. That way I can use a bit of Oregon I've got. And it should work well. So I thought about that, Vinny. I, I don't know if I'll get the, um, oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> now I don't know if I'll get the burning done today. If not, I'll definitely do it tomorrow. I didn't say goodbye yesterday. It's not a big deal. I was just, well, what was the... Oh, yeah, no, it's just rubbishy stuff. Damn it, that sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, I'm with you. I don't know if you saw this. The three mil the tapestry. Or the embroidery in our pick, the embroidery a bit of three mil glass went flying over there. Oh, woke me up though, so it's good. Oh. All right. So I'm going to go and dress this. Um, what did I say I wanted? Six mil. I'm going old school quarter. So if I do that, I'll leave that ten. Going to bring that down to 16 mil. I've got 10 mil up there. All right. Um, this thing, I've forgotten is that I can use here. I don't have to disappear. But I don't think I do it for another job. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, we're in luck. Look at that. Oh, I don't know what I did that for, but it's machined. It's machined. Whoops. It's me coffee. Is that going to do what I want? Oh, no. That's just a whisker too short. Let me see if I've got one slightly longer. It's going to be too. It's 
Gotta go to there. I tell you what. No, I think it's. Oh, wouldn't that. Wouldn't that annoy you? It's just a little bit too short. Only by about three eighths of an inch or a quarter of an inch. Oh, look at that. No, no, no. No, it looks like I'm going to have to. Going to have to do it. Yep. All right. Bear with me. Play um, what you like. Uh, I'm just going to go machine this and I will be back. Joining it first and then I'll put it through the thickness. Of it. That's the uh, jointer. Now I'm up with the thicknesser. we go. <laughs> That's typical. Turn me back for a couple of minutes. And loose to see if there's any food. You gonna say hello? You gonna say hello? Okay. You go and have your food. Go on. Oh, right. So now I've to nice and square, 16 mil. I'm going to rip that 
Two, we go 35, 35, go 35 mil. Um, yeah, and then we'll put a rebate in it. Ah, dear. See you, Lawrence. Have a good sleep, mate. We'll catch you later. Every possibility be tomorrow. Okay, over to the table saw. I can take a camera over there. You're right, girl. You stay there. Breakfast plate, they haven't taken up yet. Uh, 35 mil I want. So we'll just go. Oh. It's about 30. That'll leave me an area for clean up if I want it. Okay. So let's go over there. And here I am. You right, girl? Not I don't trust the measurement on the saw, it's just I don't trust the measurement on the saw. Yeah, with a kerf, that's just on the so just bring it back. Then we should be able to get four bits out of here. Dusty on, but it's not on the saw, it's on the dust on the bandsaw. Why I was getting sawdust coming back at me. One. Where is it? And then there's an invasion. Look at that. Get outside. Over there, you bench four of them. Four of them. And on the frame. Go on, get out. Go on. Out. You know black trucks aren't allowed in here. Only brown ones. Come on. Here you go. One out. Come on, move. Excuse me while I just They they really are nice, but this is mainly for black chook uh, brown chooks, not black ones. Come on. There you go. There you go. Alright. 
There's several ways I can do the rebate. I'm going to do the cheats way, the easy way, and just use um, a normal saw and cut uh, a chunk. I could use a dado and do a dado cut. You could go over to the router and use a router and um, cut a channel, but it's just as easy, I think. Set the saw up, two cuts. It's not as clean, but it'll do. What I want to do is just dress the edges, and for that, I'll just run a plane up there. which we shall do. The uninitiated, I just sprayed water in there. That way it's gonna hold this nice and steady as I run a plane up there. All I wanna do is just take one cut I'll use the number seven, which I'm hoping is sharp because I haven't used it for a while. But there again, if it was sharp when I used it last, it should be sharp now, shouldn't it? There we go. Not, a, not ideal. I would have it supported all the way. But... Better than nothing. when you're getting nice full shavings off like that. So, that's that. I'm not gonna do the other side until I've cut the um, rebate in it and then I'll just run a lock plane up there. So we'll just mark these so we know what we're doing. And what did I say? Six mil. And the width of this is 10 mil. So what I want is 10 mil in. And six mil deep. Whoops. I might actually do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'll use the marking gauge. Gonna be better. Okay. If you, uh, the other thing is, I'm pretty sure six mil is good. If you're a little bit out and you're too deep, what you can do is just put some masking tape down there or a bit of veneer or something just to make up the the uh, extra. So I want it that deep. And... What I think I'll do too, I'll actually... Actually, actually, how much room have I got there? I'm just thinking on my picture framing guillotine. 
put 900. Oh no, I can do it there. I'll do that a little bit. All right, so remember where you marked and mark that so you know that's your waist. I could actually go thinner on the top, but I did say I wanted 10 mil left over. I've got 10 mil there, so. No, I think that'll look all right. I know I'm talking to myself, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, Nathaniel, they are. It's what good to have the door shut. All right. Um, what did I say? Six mil, 10 mil. So mark 10 mil here. And this line will be the, <coughs> the inside of the line is where I want to cut. So the first cut I'm going to do is, let's go over to the saw. I wish I could show you all, but I don't think the cable will reach that far. Oh, it might, it might, it might. Look at that. Okay. First of all, this cut here, which is six mil, so I'm going to drop the blade down so I get six mil. Uh, that machine, that gauge I used earlier is what I normally use, but then I've got a thing here, I can use this. It was interesting what happened then. Um, or else I'd use this gauge. Well, okay, that's seven, six mil. Okay, that's a little bit high. But that's okay, I think. No, we might drop it down just a little bit. There you go. Just, uh, just touches. That's got to be the highest point. Just drop that down a bit. Okay, that will do there. And then, so that's that depth. But now I want it to come in 10 mil. Actually mark it. <laughs> Can't remember, I've got things going through my brain all over the place at the moment. Okay, so that's got to be there. So, if I bring this up, so the outside of the blade is going to be just touching the inside of the line. If I do that, we'll do a lock off and do a sample cut. Okay, when I tightened that up, it um, must have moved a bit. Let's try that. All right, so the outside of the blade is that marking line, and that's going to be waste in there. So, 
That's the height we want. Right. That's pretty good. Tell everybody about your quilt. You like us? Right. I know, we've got to go in 15 minutes. I'm just doing some stuff. Did you come here? Did you have not You just hit the off button on the saw. Thank you, because they'll get up me for leaving the saw running otherwise. So, hello. Hello, everyone. She just turned 37 yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Well, it was close. Only two, what, hang on. Better than 86. <laughs> so, what do you think? Look great. Look great. And that says his actual birthday present, isn't it? Yes. You watch the know go silly in a minute. Oh, dear. And we've got to go out because we've got to catch up with Sue's brother who we haven't seen for 10 years. That means I'll be going soon, but I'll cut these out first. And tomorrow, Vinny, tomorrow, learning it. Promise. Um, so, yeah, that's what. Finish this in a minute. I just wondered but what car we were taking. What do you want to do? Hey, what a, what a choice. Do you want to take the truck? Do you want to take your car? Do you want to take the sports car? What do you want to do? Okay. It can be the sports car or your truck. I don't know. I've got to go anywhere else. I don't know. If you can get in there of the MX. Oh, I guess I can. All right. Well, we'll take that. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. That's it. They've all gone. Because the if, lag's too long. If I can't uh, get up, you have to push me. Tell her, Tell them about your goose. See, you've got oh, a pet goose. goose. She, there she is. She's, she's making beautiful. a noise she's now. She's making a noise now. Her name's Gloria, and she is the biggest... And she sits on your lap. And she sits on my lap. You want to see a picture of two geese together? A goose and a goose. You don't have to have a long You'll neck keep. to be a goose. You'll keep. Kiss, kiss. Oh, God, I've got, I don't want to work out how many years that is. Mwah. All much. right, I'll finish. Right. I'll finish off. All right. Then um, I shall be up. So, yeah, I'll be up in 10 minutes. I'm, I'm all right like this. You want me to put a tuxedo on or anything? No, take your apron off. Why? It's all good. Yeah, it looks great. It's good. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. And then I shall be back. Oh. I got it with me. Two grippers. There you go, grippers. There's an open opportunity. And no, I'm not sponsored by gripper. But I do like grippers. All right. Now what I've got to do is 
set the depth to 10 mil, but away from the fence, it's got to be 6 mil. Now, oh, we'll do the height first. Don't mind if I go past the height, that's, that's quite okay. If you go past, you're just putting a channel into this bit of timber and it guarantees a nice sharp corner. Six mil in. To the outside of the blade. Don't the mistake of going from the fence to the blade. Then you've got another couple of mil on top of that, which is the curve of the blade, and that'll put your cut out. Test cut, have a look. Okay, up a little high. As I said, it doesn't matter. We'll drop it down just a smidgen. There you have a nice rebar. Put some feather boards on this. Just to keep it in place. Just double check that with a nice ruler so that's from there to there and that's six mil in the depth And the last one, check to make sure you got the right side down. But sometimes when you're doing multiple cuts, you get a bit blase. So that's all. That, that, to me, honestly, that's the quickest way of doing a rebate. I will just, what's the time? No, I haven't got time. Um, I guess I'll have, I'll quickly run a block plane up here. Just to take that edge off. And Aris, that he's just taking a very fine cut off, but it just takes that sharpness off.
That's, that's the sign of a nice sharp plane. Okay, good. And what I'm going to do with this, I'll actually screw it, but it's a long time to go before I actually get to that point because what I'll do tomorrow is... Um, Cut the mitres on it and put it to the back of the frame, drill and have it all set up. Go. Uh, then, when I've finished the frame and burnt it and put the gold on it, I can just with a minimum of pressure, put the frame on, put everything in there, the glass, the design, everything else, and then just um, put this and screw it down. And that is it. The challenge I've got, those of you that saw yesterday's stream, I've got it here. I did have it. I don't know where it's gone there. Um, it's going to have a, oh, there you go, that's it. Faux gold leaf finish on it. So that's been and gold leaf finish. And you can see a little bit of that gold does come off. It's not the paint coming off. It's the um, charcoal underneath breaks away because it's pretty fragile. But to me, that, that's okay. It actually lends uh, aging of the piece or the authenticity of the piece but I want to keep it to a minimum I don't want to be knocking big chunks out when I'm so that's that I'll do that tomorrow uh, whether or not I might I might I cut the mitres when I get home this afternoon it's not too late and um, play around with fitting it. Um, might even be good actually if I do that, and then I can glue it together as a frame and put it on. But Vinny, they're not. I'll burn it live. So <laughs> we'll be doing that. And then once it's burnt, I spray it with. Um, I'll show you the paint that I use. I won't spray that live, but once I finish that. Then I'm going back on the marketry. So, Lawrence, he's gone to bed. I've got to get around the scroll saw and get it working, I tell you. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, look at that. It says she's not here, but all these comments about Sue. Oh, I'll tell her. Oh, I'm good on you, Louise. Pleased to see. Mmm. I'll pass the birthday wishes and the well wishes to Sissy. Good night, Roy. Catch you later, mate. i got to go too. Oh, good Connecticut, good day from Brisbane. That's it. i got to go. I'm under orders. I'm under house arrest. Anyway, thank you, everyone. But it's time for Steve to pull the shed door down. Remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself, be kind to each other, and I thank you, and I sincerely mean it. I thank you for your, your, your patronage and being in the chat room and giving me your support. If you're new to um, the channel, I'd love you to hit the subscribe button, and I will be back tomorrow to continue on with the Geisha Girl, because it was Susie's birthday, her birthday was yesterday, but I did promise her it would be up by Sunday. In the meantime, take care and I look forward to having your company at the workbench again very, very soon.
God bless, good night, good afternoon, good morning. Catch you later. Bye for now.